Hi, we are the cast and company of Amazing Ice Cream! <laughs> produced by the Cell Theater Company and the High Theater Company at the Cell in Chelsea, New York City. Uh, in the press, we've been called the Gay Midsummer, uh, which maybe is because um, we have um, two trannies playing uh, Obron and Titania as well as Theseus and Apollota. We have um, no, Lysander. Lady, 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 oh, lady boys. boys? Okay. <laughs> Uh, or boy ladies. Um, we have uh, Lysander and Hermia, um, who usually are played straight and they're played gay in our production. I am Jason Azum. I'm the casting director and company manager of this co-production. And um, we're here to tell you that it gets better. We were, I was, uh, a theater dork, a, a band nerd, uh, all of the above um, in high school. And uh, who would have thought that 10 years later, I would be part of the producing team for a gay show in the middle of Chelsea, New York City. It's crazy. Um, back when this play was written, um, you were really allowed to be gay when Shakespeare wrote this. And now we have made this um, you know, a modern play by adding gay characters and making the main characters gay. Um, and not only is that really cool, it's awesome that we're allowed to do that and that we're being applauded for doing that. And we're getting to play with um, 40, 50 people um, to make this happen. And it's an amazing thing. And the, the new law yeah. that was passed. And the fact that New York State just passed a law letting um, same-sex couples marry, I mean, it's so fortuitous that we're able to do this. Um, so we're here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, that this theater nerd, band geek, um, gets to live the life he's always wanted by making art with fellow nerds. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Samuel Gaines. I play uh, Titania and Theseus in this production. <gasps> oh, poor oh, yeah. oh, Covered in uh, <laughs> And, um, You're taking yours off. I, uh, I, I, you know, when I was younger, um, I got teased mercilessly for for being, you know, for, for being effeminate or not being black enough or being overweight, um, being a musical theater freak, uh, <laughs> I, um, I, uh, but my saving grace was that I had people around me who I knew loved me and always supported me and, uh, and uh, <laughs> constantly reaffirmed that I was enough and that what I had was special, and that um, it was it was valuable. So if I was going to say anything, it's just don't take yourself out of the equation because what you have to give is so unique and beautiful. And just don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Grow up and and, and show them that you are somebody, and uh, it gets better. <laughs> um, I don't have a coming out story per se, but uh, I was severely bullied as a child. Um, maybe not more than others, but uh, I I had the good fortune uh, years later of being able to talk to the person who uh, I felt had so cruelly humiliated me, and I got that he was hurting um, too. And I think that's important to think about that that person who is hurting you so so cruelly it, it's coming out of a place of pain from them, um, and that uh, I I feel really privileged that I was able to clean that up with him and um, not that that might necessarily happen but that it does it really does get better um, even in the worst, most darkest moments of my teenage years. I'm so glad I pulled through, and I'm not sure I had very many people who loved me uh, for who I was, but I, I pulled through, man, and it really does get better. And I, I found a family with my theater crew, with people who were involved in the arts, and um, it really gets better. It 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 gets better. Just to make things crystal clear. <laughs> it gets better!